Well, the Washington County District Attorney's Office is getting more than a half a million dollars in grant funds from the Department of Justice to support their cold case unit. As Fox News Chandler Watkins reports, the money will allow the unit to expand the number of cold cases they can potentially solve. Inside the Justice Services Building in downtown Hillsboro sits the cold case unit. This month, the Washington County DA's office announced it secured over $530,000 in grant funding for this unit. It allows us to continue the work that we started three years ago, uh, trying to open up and breathe some new life into what people call cold cases. Since its creation in 2020, the unit has led investigators to identify and charge a man for the 1988 murder of his estranged wife, Deborah Lee Atrops, as well as close the 1983 murder case of Nancy McEvers. Earlier this year, Nancy's family said the moment was emotional, but they're glad it finally came. For 40 years, and like my sister said, we've gotten the answers now that we need to put it to closure. And we're thankful for that. The unit operates in partnership with the sheriff's office. Detective Mark Pavoni says while a case may be considered cold, it's never closed. Reaching out to the family to let them know, hey, we were able to solve this and make an arrest. Uh, those are really meaningful conversations. I've been able to be a part of a couple of those, and those are things I'll remember for the rest of my career. The grant funds two investigators, a forensic consultant, and other expenses through September 2026. It also allows the unit to examine other cold case violent crimes, including potentially hundreds of unsolved sexual assaults. Washington County DA Kevin Barton says they look forward to continuing to solve more cold cases, some dating back nearly 50 years. It doesn't matter the, the, the passage of time, uh, how much time has gone by or how old a case might be. At the end of the day, justice delayed is truly justice denied. And our goal is to provide that sense of justice for victims and families. Reporting in Washington County, Chandler Watkins, Fox 12 Oregon.